Hi, this is Gina Giampietro with the Gina Giampietro team of Remax Select Realty. Today's blog is going to be about investors. Now back to our blog. I probably get three to five calls a week with new investors wanting to come into the Pittsburgh market. Pittsburgh is a great place to invest. It's a great place to make a lot of money, whether you're buying and holding or flipping. However, you need to have your ducks in a row. More and more people buy these systems and think they're going to come into Pittsburgh, which is already a cheap market, and they're going to say, hey, we want to get a 60% ARV. It doesn't exist. And we're still willing to have that conversation with you, but if you're going to use hard money loans or somebody else's money and think it's going to be all done at 60%, you're going to make a 20 to 30% return after paying the hard money lender and all the vendors off. If you're looking for a needle in a haystack in Pittsburgh. Every investor is looking for that. And when there is one out there, it drives the price up. Prime example, there's a house right now. A lot of investors are going after it. It's priced only at 31000 Needs about fifty. So even when you find the ones that should be the 60% ARV, they're going over asking, which means they're no longer that 60 or 65% ARV. Second thing is, is these a lot of these investors aren't in town. They don't have any local connections and they don't have contractors or just hiring whoever off the internet hoping it's going to get done and it's going to get done right. Really bad way to do business. Um, you need to fly to Pittsburgh. You need to see the area. You need to know where you want to buy. You need to understand our market and you need to hire the contractor that's going to work for you. A lot of the agents that work with investors, we have the contractors for you. Um, and, and we know that they're going to do it right. The worst thing that can happen is you buy a house, you think it's going to cost you 20, it ends up costing you 40, there goes your margin anyway. But at the same time, they give you the wrong floors, the wrong countertops. They piece it together, you get killed in a home inspection, and you've just lost a lot. I see it happen every day in Pittsburgh. That is not something you want to do. You need to find the local expert that has done flipping before that has the contractors. Another thing you need to watch is a lot of people think that you can just paint them beige, throw in a basic Home Depot kitchen with a nice countertop, nice floor, refinish the hardwood floors, and you're going to raise the value 35%, 40%. No. Carpet, paint, and a new kitchen isn't going to do that. Um, wouldn't it be great? Everybody would be doing it. Lastly, the thing that investors need to watch in Pittsburgh is making sure that they price it right. A lot of the investors that call me, they tell me that they see the, you know, the house next door five years ago sold for X. Well, five years ago is in today's market. Um, they'll say, well, Zillow says, or Trulia says, or I found comps on Realtor.com that say this. you got to take apples to apples, and you got to have a local expert that understands our market. And if you find an agent that doesn't understand the market, there is towns that are split by a big road that this side of the you know town gets X and this side of the town doesn't. Or if you're buying a property in the city of Pittsburgh, there's one road here that you can get to seven or eight different towns. So if somebody's just doing a basic CMA for you and doing a radius, they're going to pull three or four different towns in there, which they're not going to get the true value of what that property is really going to sell for later. Um, if you have a lot of steps to your front door with no parking, you can't even comp that against something that doesn't have any steps unless you take some serious consideration in for those steps and then take even more after that. So there's a lot that goes with investing um, and flipping homes. Pittsburgh is a great area. Love to hear from the investors that want to work in this market. I, I turn a lot of the people down. I, like I said, I get three to five calls a week, but there's only one or two a week that I may work with, sometimes none that week because their expectations are unrealistic. That's it for our blog this time. If you have any questions on this topic or any other topic, please give us a call or give us an email. And until next time, have a great day.